Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, what sold week three, three of lockdown? Um, I sold some stuff and I'm gonna share with you eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. Things have changed a little, but I'm still, you know, not selling as much, but I'm still selling and I'm thankful for every single thing that sells. So we are going to get started and dig into some bread and butter bolos. And, you know, I've got a few decent size bolos, nothing majorly huge. I think my biggest item is $60, um, $55 one, you know, so some, some decent solds. I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining. And let's dig in. What sold? What sold the third week of lockdown? All right, let's get our screen share up. And the first item are these Connects uh, roller coaster track. Um, it's from the Screaming Serpent. And I did a video on this. I parted out the Screaming Serpent um, Connects set because it was missing some pieces. And I just decided to part it out by um, the different parts. So these are the green ones. There was the track, all the different pieces. I lauded the ones that were the same. That's what I'm trying to say. This sold for $15.84 and the buyer paid shipping. And I will say that this has been a successful project. Did it take me longer? Yes, but I have made a lot more money doing it this way. And I do have a video on that if you guys want to check it out. I sold this Cacique Brawl and I sold it for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Again, I don't typically show you guys the clothing items, but because it's the third week of lockdown, I'm going to do every item I sold just so you guys have an idea of what is selling. The coach crossbody I picked up at a garage sale. It was, I think, three or five dollars, something like that. It wasn't much. I took a best offer of $25 because the person messaged me and said, Hey, I'm going to have to have this dry cleaned. Would you mind selling it to me for $25? And I'm like, You know what? You can have it. Um, I forgot to mention, I bought this at a um, discount store for $6.35 and this came from a garage sale. The whole thing was $5 and I've parted it out and I've made a lot of money doing that. So it's a really, really great idea. It does take time to count all the pieces though. All right, this was a fun find. And if you guys saw my what sold on lockdown video, there was that amazing fishing lure that my husband found and sold for huge money. Go check it out if you haven't watched that video. Amazing. I think that was week two of lockdown. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to see that lure. Amazing. But I got this at the same estate sale and it was this and a jacket. And I think I paid $3 for the set. If I remember correctly, I still have the jacket listed and I took a best offer on these of $55 in the buyer paid shipping. This express necklace I have had for way, way, way too long. So I took a best offer of $8 on this and I was very, very happy to see it go. It was new with tags and yeah, long time. This Cacique swim top is a plus size 46D. I sold it for $20.24 in the buyer paid shipping. That came from a discount store. I've got about $3 in it. This Parfait, you guys have heard me talk about this brand. I bought tons and tons and tons of these at a discount store, ranging from a dollar to $3 each. Most of them were like a buck or two. Um, but I've sold 31 of this style. This one I, I sold for $8. I've got them marked down pretty low. I'm just ready to move them out. Uh, they are bigger cup sizes with smaller bands. So like 32F. 32G, stuff like that. And they are in UK sizes. And I have a size chart down here that people can use to figure out if it's a 32F, it would be a 32G or quadruple D in USA size. So I think that makes them a little harder to sell, but I have sold so many. Uh, I didn't have a lot in this style, so I've only sold 31 of these, but um, I only have two left. But some of the other styles have done really well, like 70 to 100 of them I've sold. Not big money, definitely bread and butter. This wig was not a good buy. I bought a bunch of these on the Fredericks of Hollywood website when they were clearanced. For some reason, I'm just really having a hard time moving them. I have sold four. I think I sold one on Mercari or Posh. I can't remember. 
but I took a best offer of $9 and I'm happy to see it go. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. I'd have to look it up. Um, I mean, it was under $5, I do believe. So I still made a profit, but I would not do that again. These Lane Bryant jean shorts and these Lane Bryant jean shorts, somebody bundled these and I have bundles, buy one, get one 10% off with in addition to that discount, they get $5 shipping with the purchase of two or more items. So they got both of these items for $31.24, and then they paid the shipping of $5 in addition to that. These Barbie shoes are horrible shape. They're damaged, they're cracked, they're mismatched, just no good. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe somebody will need one of these down here that's a mismatch that's in decent shape. I'm just going to try it. I sold these for $15.84 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, the lesson here is don't throw it away. List it on eBay. There might be somebody who wants it. These, I mean, they didn't take that long to sell. I was actually surprised. This little green Barbie hat sold for $10.56 and the buyer paid shipping. It is vintage. This came from a bulk uh, buy from a thrift store of tons of Barbie stuff. So I have like nothing in it, maybe five cents. Thomas the train. I sold this train and this train for $33 and 44 cents. And the buyer paid shipping. They lotted them together in their cart. These VTEC smile games I sold for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked these up at a garage sale over the summer, a huge tote full of like VTEC stuff. I, I don't know, $10, $15 for the whole tote. I mean, it was a massive amount of stuff. I still have so much to list, but I decided to list this because everybody's locked down and I figured it'd be a good time to sell it. So I had this up maybe uh, two weeks, a week. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. Maybe it was only a week. So I sold these Lane Bryant shorts for $21.12 and the buyer paid shipping. These scrapbooking stickers for baby boy. These came from a garage sale. Oh gosh, it was a couple summer. Was it last summer? Maybe it was the beginning of last summer, but sold for $30 plus shipping. Again, it was a huge bulk buy. So I probably have a buck in all of this. These are new with tags. So I picked these up on the actual Lane Bryant's website on clearance. I always forget to tell you guys on clothes what I paid for it. Um, I think I had probably $6, maybe seven in those retail arbitrage. You're not going to get as big of margins. So I do go to like Frederick's of Hollywood, Lane Bryant. I don't do it as much now because, um, like David's bridal, I did that for a while. Sears, I did that for a while and I don't do it really anymore because I'm trying to get out of clothing, but I did retail arbitrage clearance racks from websites for quite a while. These bullhead jeans, I had these from the Pac Sun. Um, what do you call it? Pack Sun. When they went out of business, I bought a ton of. I, I I just bought so much stuff. But these sold for fourteen dollars and eighty nine cents, and the buyer paid shipping. And I still have thirteen pair left. This Casique bra um, was another retail arbitrage. I they bought this one and this one. They're new with tags. I sold both of them for forty eight dollars, and they paid the five dollars shipping in addition to that. This is another one of the Parfait by Off and Toss, I think is how you say it. Um, it's a plus size, uh, again, bigger cup size, smaller band. Sold this for $10.90. It's a bread and butter item, but I've sold 78 of them. The next item is this Cacique Brawl, and I sold this for $21. I took a best offer, and the buyer paid shipping. This came from a discount store. I had six dollars in this um plus tax and this one was like two bucks probably at a discount store these express shorts came from a garage sale i took a best offer of twelve dollars i had 20 on them but i was like you know what i just want to sell it and i probably had 50 cents in them this pony surprise came from a goodwill i paid three dollars for it and i sold it for 28 dollars plus shipping now the the thing about this is I bought these new in the boxes. 
not new in the boxes. They had the original boxes, but if I would have included the original box, the shipping would have probably doubled or tripled due to the size. And I was like, you know what? They're not brand new. So I don't know if I made the right decision or not, but I sold them like this without the box so that I could ship them first class and save people money. I don't know if that was the right thing to do because it did have the original box, but that's what I did. The next item, actually, you know what, you guys, tell me below, would you have sold it in the original box or like I did? What would you have done? And I did look up comps. So these Easter eggs came from a garage sale, $2, and they, um, I sold them for $38 plus shipping. This was one that I sent an offer out to watchers on. These Scooby-Doo beanbag plush, they're new with tags. I took a best offer of $60 on these and the buyer paid shipping. This Carol Channing doll from 1961, she um, had one bid of $19.99 plus shipping. Uh, she came from a garage sale in a bulk buy, so it had less than a dollar in her. These also came from a garage sale. I probably had 3 to $5 in them. It was a bulk buy. It's so hard to tell you guys because... I buy everything in bulk, so I get it so cheap. I am like the bundle queen. Um, another one of those sold for $9.59. This I picked up at a thrift store for $1.25. Somebody offered, I had it on auction. They offered me $29, and I'm like, you know what? I haven't sold much today. I'm just going to take it. So I sold it for $29 plus shipping. Had I waited, would I have sold it for full price? Maybe more? possibly, or possibly no one could have bid. So I took the $29 and ran. The next item is this Christopher Radko celebrating adoption Christmas ornament. I, I think I found like four of these and they are the best thing ever to sell. They sell for a really great price. I love Christopher Radko um, finding his items, but I took a best offer on this of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. This vintage Barbie clone clothing, Maddie Maud, Mego, Hong Kong. Um, I sold these for $14.08 in the buyer paid shipping. This was kind of a long tail item. Took a little while to sell, but um, yeah, good find. I Again, it was a bulk buy. Probably had less than a buck in all of it. And I just took pictures of each outfit. Might have done better if I would have actually put it on the doll, but I don't like dressing Barbies. It's hard. The next item sold on Poshmark for $20. This is a very stale item. I've had it for a long time. That's what I mean by stale. It's still a fine item, but I picked this up at a discount store for probably a buck or two and sold it for 20. So even though I've had it like three or four years, I still made a lot of money on it. Not a lot, but a buck or two into 20. I'm pretty happy with that. The next item is this bundle of Mary Kay foundation. Could I have held out for more? Yes, but the person mes messaged me and said that they give it to like a women's group or shelter or something like that. And she wanted all five of them for $40. So I just went ahead and took it. I got these for about 30 cents each at a garage sale. And again, it was a bundle buy that I did at a garage sale. So they offered me 40. Uh, Poshmark took eight. So I made $32 and then you subtract out what I paid for it. So still a great profit. Everyday Catherine's jeans. These are a 00XWP. Um, sold these for $22. I think I had about three bucks in them from a discount store. Catherine's bra. I paid $5 plus tax for this at a discount store. I sold it for $22 plus shipping. These express jeans. I usually hold out for $25 on these, but you know, times are a little tough for everyone right now. I want to be selling. Um, people are, you know, not spending as much. They're, you know, watching their pennies a little more. And I'm like, you know, I'm still going to make money. I've got about three bucks in this item from a discount store. I sold it for 22. Posh takes their 20%. Um, and the buyer pays the shipping. So I went ahead and took that. These Spider Marvel Boys snowboard pants, size 12, they retail for $179. I think I had 80 on them and they offered me 45 and I was like, okay, I got them at a discount store. I paid like 15 for them. So not huge margins. It's a retail arbitrage, but um, actually I bought two pair and one, one pair said nine and I didn't catch that the other pair said 15. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought the pair for 15. So I have one pair left listed. Um, I think it's still listed at 80 because I took 45 on these. 
I probably need to do a price adjustment on that. But the other pair I paid $9 for, so they're still listed. These RBX uh, shirts, I took a best offer of $30 for both of them. Poshmark fee was six. Uh, so I got $24 and I probably had, you know, I might have paid between three and five each for these. So not a huge profit, but definitely making some money. These Lane Bryant shorts sold for $20 and the buyer paid the shipping. Let's go on to Mercari. I sold this Cleaver Made inflatable chair. It was brand new in the box. I sold it for $32 and I um, covered the shipping. So that came out of my profits, but Mercari only takes 10% and that is awesome. I got this at a garage sale for $5. These boxcar children's books, feel like books are doing great right now. I think I paid 10 cents each for them. I sold them for $12 with free shipping. Funny Maker Odd Bods. I picked this up at a discount store and I think I paid $3 for it. The buyer did pay the shipping on this and I took a best offer of $23. So um, yeah, pretty good. This Faith bracelet came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay or Poshmark or Mercari. I need to update that. And this sold for $12 with free shipping. So I had pennies in this and yeah, pretty awesome. And for those of you listening and not watching, it's a bangle faith bracelet. It says faith on it. The next item are these Nike golf pants. Nike, ah, uh, sorry. Nike golf pants, size 14. I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say I had like three bucks in them and somebody offered me 40 with free shipping and I took it and I was very happy with that. Poshmark took, not Poshmark, Mercari took 10%. So, and the last item I had these watch parts, which is kind of funny because my husband was throwing these in the trash and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I don't want to mess with these. And I'm like, please give them to me. So I had this one and this lot, and I had them listed separately on Mercari. And the I had somebody message me and ask me to bundle them for them. So I went ahead and did that. And I only included the first picture because they had already seen the other pictures and asked me to bundle. So I did that. And the person never got back with me. And I had like five emails in like five minutes after I listed it, asking me like to reduce the price, to do this, to do that. And I think I it was like $128 is what it would have been. And because he bundled, I said I'd do a hundred. So some other person's like, will you take 75? And I'm like, no, I just reduced it to a hundred for um, somebody else, but I, I do not do holds. So you are welcome to purchase it for a hundred dollars. And that person ended up buying it. So I'm thrilled with it. And my husband just didn't want to mess with it. And I don't know if he was actually going to throw it in the trash. It looked like he was putting it in his trash can. Um, but he may have put some of these to the side. But he said if I wanted to list them, I could have the money. So, and what I mean by that, I'll explain that. My husband sells on eBay just for like uh, his hobby money. So, uh, he, he, he'll he buy stuff and sell it. And then that's like his play money. You know, he can do whatever he wants with it. And he just, yeah, he, he collects and stuff like that. So it's fun for him to have just extra money, you know? So he is a hobby reseller. I am a, this is my job reseller. So he gave me those. So that'll go towards like bills, <laughs> you know, the fun stuff that, uh, I do this for a living, so that's how I contribute to the bills. This is my full-time job. So, anyhow, I forget what I was going to say. I was going to tell you guys something else. So, yeah, I was like, I sent him a text. I'm like, look what I just sold. You got any more you want to give me? <laughs> so, all right, you guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you made it to the end, comment, I made it to the end. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And... By the time this lockdown is over, my hair might be half brown. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.